Visit ccgcastle.com and get 5% discount on your purchase with TCG Center 5 code. Check read the description or visit CCG Castle for more. Hey, what is going on, Poké fans? Once again, welcome to Pokemon TCG Center. Um, today, I'm going to play a little bit with the uh, Legacy format. And uh, in today's video, I decided to uh, upload my new version of a Garchomp Altaria deck, as you can see in front of you. Um, it's a very consistent deck list, running a um, couple interesting cards as a tech. So let's start first with the Pokemon lineup. There's a 21 Pokemons in total, um, with uh, two different with two different evolution. Lineups actually with the three of them, but uh, Electrode is just gonna be our support lineup anyways for draw support You know in some certain matchups um, Obviously the, the Garchomp is our main attacker match cut and Dragon Blade in my opinion probably the strongest one hit attacker Okay, it's not let's be honest Trubbish is much much more stronger if there's a lot of tools, you know with two energy cards, but that Dragon Blade and 140 HP is just pure madness. The the, the the best matchup against those against those Garchomps are gonna probably have um, speaking about EX version of the decks I should say um, hmm I should say probably Darkrai is because Darkrai can go for 110 and 30 on the bench and then potentially take double knockout Theoretically, but uh, as long as they're gonna trade one for two price cards mm, It's gonna be super hard for any of those EX decks. But anyways um, This is the 4-3-3 lineup of those cards and Pokemon lineups, you know with a Dragon Call, you can just search your deck for a Dragon Pokemon, really put it in your hand, and then with a Garchomp, you can cause a lot of problems with just a single energy match cut for 60. Let's say if we have two Altarias in play, we can increase that damage to 100. Speaking about more damage, we can cause even more problems with a Silver Bangle and Plus Power. In theory, with this Pokemon lineup, um, we can hit for 140 but if we add one more energy we can use dragon blade and go for 180 which will be enough for the one hit knockout against any pokemon in the legacy format and that's just purely insane um running also four swablus and three altarios for the best possible consistency and pull up um to set up um one smurgle for the portrait as well as one execute with that propagation so we can have a easier play with the computer search and the John Carb and one of each Walterps and Electros with Magnetic Draw so we can draw cards until we have four in our hands. Well, moving on to the um, item cards, there's a lot of good item cards and tech cards. First of all, don't criticize me for running only one rare candy. I feel this deck does not need so many rare candies. If you want to be explosive, you can definitely be explosive, but I definitely much more prefer losing the first prize card, which is probably anyway going to be my Smurgle, and then causing a lot of problems with my Garchomps to my opponents anyways. Computer Search A-Spec can also be substituted with the Junk Arm, but I much more prefer, uh, not the Junk Arm, but the Life Dew, I much more prefer a Computer Search for that card search in case if I need one. Escape Probe, I really don't need to discuss too much about it, very powerful card for this build. Um, four copies of Junk Arms, you know, so we can recover any of those item cards from Discord Pile back into our hand. Only four copies of Level Ball. You can add as a Tech 1 Ultra Ball as well if you want. But since we just need to set up um, those Gay Bites and play, um, that's pretty much it. You don't need more than uh, Level Balls. Lost Removal times one. Very, very, very broken card. It can just knock one of our opponent's special energies and put it in the law zone. It's a very important against those Pokemons uh, like Genesect, for example, so they cannot recover those energies with the Shadow Tread, for example. Um, running one copy of Max Potion as a tank because it's a very nice to have it, as well as a Plus Power. In case if you wonder why one copy of Plus Power, it's a very simple answer to that question. Dragon Blade for 100, if you're running two copies of Altarios on the bench, you can go for 140, and if you have something like a Silver Bangle, you cannot pull for more than 170, but in that case you can add one plus power and go for 180 and one hit knockout, for example, Dark Ray, and there we go. This is the reason why. Um, there's also one Pokemon Catcher which looks very blurry, I don't know why, they should probably try to fix that. Um, 
But you know, Pokemon Catcher in addition to Escape Rope. Um, your your opinion and your choice to pick your opponent, bench it Pokemon and switch it with the active if you manage to get hands on the coin flip. Then obviously one random receiver because it's a very good card, and one copy of Rare Candy as a tech, um, two copies of support for the basic energy and Pokemon Recycle, one copy of Tool Scrapper which can also be added to two. Just in case if you're expecting to play against a lot of Garbodors, they can simply shut down your abilities and you're gonna be in a lot of problems, you know. Especially if the tool scrapper is prized. Um, two copies of Sky Iro Bridge and two copies of Silver Bangle. And that's pretty much when we speak about item cards. One mentionable card that can be added in this build as well should be a Silver Mirror, so you can basically lock those plasma decks. I just decided not to play with it because I think it's just way too broken, you know. But you can also add this card as well. Um, four copies of and four copies of Professor Zoke's new theory, so we really don't want to discard anything that we don't want to discard with the Professor Johnny Pro, for example, but we can always use Portrait and use Advantage of Johnny Pro from our opponent hand. And basically, eight energies, four blends, and four regular fighting energy cards with that Sudowoodo logo from the Call of Legends as well. So that's pretty much it for the deck introductions. Let's move on to the game test so you can see this deck in action. So see you in the game. All right, so waiting my opponent to call the heads or tails of the coin flip, obviously to flip the coin so we can determine who's gonna start first. And hopefully to play one normal game, you know, because it's very hard for those who's following this channel for me to get normal game playing that legacy format these days. Many people just decide to concede the game after the turn one, turn two at the most. I don't know why is that happening. I just have no clue why people just decide to, you know, uh, ruin the game, but it is how it is. We're gonna go with one energy attachment and then end. Okay, perfect. I have two keyballs and two level balls as well, so potentially I can have very, very nice turn for the setup, especially if there is a... Oh, it's not. Okay. It's not. Okay, so we're just gonna go with... Um, I'm not gonna even try to retreat. I'm not gonna bother with retreating. If he can knock that special energy out, he's lucky guy. Um, I'm gonna try to sleep him, maybe with a sink. Uh, maybe he just knocked me out with the hypnotoxic laser. Oh, I should maybe better retreat. Uh, okay, I mean, still I can avoid the situation just by simply evolving and retreating. Which I'm probably going to do. Um, there's a level ball in my hand, obviously for that electrode. You know, so he passes the turn and I manage to wake up. Alright, um, speaking about passing turn and wakes up, I will first go with evolution play. Then I'm gonna use my dragon call and we're gonna go with another gable on the bench for now. I know I could just basically go for another Gaybite and then just Dragon Call for another Gable. Don't judge me for that. I just perfectly know that. Um, but once you click, you can't decide to move back, unfortunately. Not here in TCGO, so we're ready to play that end. Okay, sounds like an interesting... Um, yeah, we're gonna retreat, no doubt about it. And for now, I'm not gonna try to bother playing anything else. Or maybe I can go for that computer search. Mm, maybe not, maybe, maybe it's just Okay, for now, let's not be greedy. Um, as long as I have one Dragon Call ability, I can just, you know, grab multiple Pokemons and set them up and play. So, there's Professor's Oxygen Theory. Um, you know, if you're under special condition, it's, uh, your, your Dragon Call is not going to be affected as a Forest Bread, for example, because the Forest Bread was Poke Power and this is ability. So, two different stands, you know, which people definitely may be not realize especially if they're new to the game 
So just another grass energy, just because with another grass energy from hand you can play bicycle for one. Looks like like some sort of the Genesec deck. Um, the good thing for my opponent is that he definitely don't want to concede. And I don't see why he would concede. Um, but simply he can get that shaman in play and uh, play perfect turn with it, you know because he can surprise him from nowhere and get uh, three energies with that uh, Celestial Roar, I think. Or maybe it's not. I'm, I'm not 100% sure what's the name of the ability, you know. Um, there's the first guard jump in play. Alright, as you can see, very powerful ability. And we are looking forward to burn this computer search, definitely. I can grab myself something like Altaria, for example. Alright, I don't need to attach energy to my active card jump. I'm gonna go with, uh, you know, um, my uh, random receiver just because I have greater chance to pull John Karm later in the game so I can use it as advantage. And I'm gonna play one Professor Soak's new theory. It's not that I need it, but it's better to have six cards in hand than uh, just, you know, um, Two or three or four, and we're gonna match cut for like hundred. Okay, that's a serious number of damage. Um, next turn with energy attached from my hand, I can increase damage for 40 because I have also silver bangle as well as the plus power. I can add 40 more damage, which can be devastating for my opponent. So he managed to flip one heads on the coin flip for the first Genesec EX in play. Alright. We are good to go after that chorus machine. So he played supporter card. Which obviously means that he depend on the top deck. If he have energy he can use Forest Breath, that's for sure, no doubt about that. Unfortunately he don't have it. For me, it's time to grab a couple more guard jumps so I can set up. I don't see how in the world is possible for my opponent to recover from this position. I just managed to set up properly right now. I do have two Altarios, two guard jumps in play. There's also, yeah, there's just, you know, way too many resources that I have available. And we're going to do something like this, as well as a plus power play. And uh, I'm also gonna get rid of the super rod, you know, because I'm running four John Carms and I can easily recover those cards. Uh, let's go with one Professor Zog's new theory. There's the max potion as well. And uh, let's try to flip hands on the coin flip with the Pokemon Catcher. I get lucky there. So, match cut for sure. And I can also get rid of that special energy attached to this Genesect, meaning that he can't even retreat under this circumstance without paying a energy to retreat and there is the energy card and Professor Zog's new theory also known as a punt p-o-n-t and there's a switch as well okay so can he get some energies for the forest bread yes he can there we go one energy from his hand second genesis on the bench as well and this might be it Bicycle for two extra cards. All right, very nice. He's probably digging for that hypnotoxic laser, which he unfortunately so far didn't find, and uh, that's a little bit problematic position for my opponent. What is good for me is the fact that I'm gonna use the max potion, a level ball play, and then Professor Zoke's new theory. I'm searching for Professor up uh, for Pokemon Catcher, definitely. There's a John Carm, which is gonna be obviously for a chorus machine. So since he used that switch, he might be able to hit me with the Megalic Cannon if he wants for like a hundred, and that's gonna happen. And probably two damage are gonna go to my Altaria on the bench. No, he decided to strike my Electrode. All right. Um, time to retreat. Time to play level ball. Um, we're gonna fail to search, obviously. Then we are looking forward to use Professor Zoke's new theory. All right. Just in case, if you want to be even more um, greedier and uh, you know, just greedier and uh, 
stronger you can take one the silver bangle as well so you can prevent your opponent plasma pokemon from doing damage to you but um, i just didn't want to put that card in the de deck as well as a tech you know it would be way too disruptive in my opinion so we have computer search available and there's a red signal so he can target one of my bench pokemon he decided to took that electrode all right do i have escape rope available unfortunately i don't so he decided also to end me down to three well with uh, forest breath he can potentially get energy in play. I, I can't unfortunately uh, retreat just because my Electrode is a stage 1 Pokemon, it's not a basic one, so Skyro Bridge cannot be used. Um, but overall, I think I have very good chance to finish this game, maybe even at the next turn, you know. Oh, there's a Jirachi, yeah, definitely. Those Garchomps look amazing as a full as a Secret Rare card as well as those Altarias. They was not quite expensive when they was released, probably around 15 bucks a piece. I think right now you can't find a single one under the 35 bucks a piece, something like that. Those, those Garchomps and Napoleons, they're actually so expensive. Um, level Ball for nothing. We're gonna go with another um, Silver Bangle as well as this Tool Scrapper so I can grab four cards. Uh, draw until I have four so I can drop three cards. And there's a Junk Arm which means I can potentially get myself a Random Receiver which I'm definitely going to grab. Mm, okay, I just need to be smart with my energies. Alright, let's get that. I'm gonna go with a random receiver, um, just because I need escape rope, which I don't have in my disc pile. Um, Professor Zoke's new theory, alright. Can I get one? Ah, so close. But still, I can John Carm from com for computer search, and then I can computer search um, for escape rope, and then I can probably target one of my opponent Pokemon's on the bench, which can be a very big nightmare for him, you know, um, especially in this moment, because both of those Pokemon's can be one hit knocked out. Um, so yeah, he definitely decided to pull that um, Jirachi in the front, which means I'm gonna respond with my match cut Garchomp, who can simply hit for 90, 130, I completely forget about those Altarios on the bench, so there's a loss removal and another Altario as well, and this looks like to be a GG. Alright, Genesect to be promoted. Uh, so far my opponent couldn't take a single prize card, and this is the power of the Genesect. I know, I know, he was not able to set up properly at the beginning of the game, um, but I was actually able to set up very fast. And I also managed to burn through my deck pretty quickly, so there is the M. Alright, so he decided to ends me down to one, not a big deal, especially because we have that Electrode, as well as the Garchomp, who can simply one hit knock at my opponent. And that's the GG. So he decides to concede. Even if he was, even if he was looking forward to retreat, I have so many different options, you know, um, to play. But overall, very hard to play versus Garchomp. No doubt about it. Um, it's super fast deck that can output so many damage counters to your opponent. Um, it can one hit knock it in theory anything and uh, it can cause a lot of problems to your opponent. As I mentioned it earlier in this matchup, Silver Bangle can be tech in this build as well as something like uh, Ultra Ball times one, so you can just get rid of some cards that you don't need in some certain situation, for example Level Ball for Execute and then throw it out with the um, Ultra Ball because this deck does not have um, S Professor Juniper or Ultra Ball, so this deck actually cannot discard cards until you play Computer Search or John Carm, which is, in my opinion, very good and uh, 
very important just because you don't want to uh, discard those energies because it's very hard to recycle them back especially those um, blend energies but you also don't want to discard those um, Pokemon lineups because you can easily search them with a Dragon Call and overall um, if you set up properly fast there's no way you're gonna lose game with the guard jump. So thank you for watching. Well, uh, hopefully I'm gonna see you in the next video. Make sure to hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more videos. Let me know if you play Legacy in the in the comments below what you think about this decklist. We'll see you next time. So till the next time, have a nice day and uh, goodbye.